What's going on everyone, how you doing? My name is Joe and I am one half of Two Crazy Ketos. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make something that we make in our house almost every week. It's a super low carb breakfast casserole and we'll do it right after this. So we make this casserole almost every week. It's easy to make. It only takes a few ingredients, most of which you probably already have in your house. It's high in fat, coming in around 70% fat, and it's only about four carbs per serving. It's also really good for meal prepping and just having something ready to go for breakfast each day. So before we get into actually cooking, let's go over the ingredients we're gonna need. The first thing we're gonna need is a dozen eggs. We're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. Uh, some type of meat. We're gonna use Smithfield hot uh, breakfast sausage. We need some broccoli or some kind of vegetable. I've used broccoli, you can use cauliflower, asparagus, whatever kind of cruciferous vegetable you want to use. Then we need our spices. Whatever you like to use, what I'm going to use is salt, onion powder, garlic powder. I'm going to use oregano and black pepper. So let's get into how to cook this. Okay, so we're going to start off by browning up a pound of breakfast sausage. Now that we have our sausage all browned up, we're gonna move on to the eggs. We have a dozen eggs in a bowl, and to that we're gonna add a half a cup of heavy whipping cream and about a quarter of a cup of water, which I just put in the heavy whipping cream container so I can get it out. Then we're gonna add in two teaspoons of oregano. And again, you can use whatever kind of spices you want. We're gonna do a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of salt, and now we're simply gonna whisk it up. Okay, now that everything is all prepared, we're gonna go ahead and assemble the casserole. We're gonna take our pork sausage and put it into the bottom of a casserole dish. And then we're gonna spread it around. Then we're gonna take our cooked broccoli and just distribute it throughout the casserole. Now we're gonna take about a half a cup of shredded cheese and pour it over the top. And then we're gonna pour our egg mixture in. And then over the top of this, we're gonna add another half a cup of shredded cheese. Now we're gonna put it in the oven, 350 degrees for 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes. The timer went off at 40 minutes. The mixture wasn't quite done yet, uh, so I put it in for another five minutes. So let's go ahead and get it out of the oven. So take a look at that casserole. Doesn't that look amazing? We love this recipe. I mean, it's super easy to make. It only takes about 10 minutes to prepare, plus your 40 to 45 minutes of cooking. It stores great in the refrigerator. Just cut it into pieces and then stick it into a airtight container. It'll last for about a week if you don't eat it before then. Uh, it's great for meal prepping because you can just have it sitting there and whenever you need a piece, just take it, heat it up in the microwave and you're good to go. Uh, we really love making this for Caleb in the morning so that we don't have to cook for him at 5 6 o'clock in the morning. Now let's go over the macros on this. We cut this into eight pieces. At eight pieces, it's gonna come out to be about 400 calories per slice, 32 grams of fat, 24 grams of protein, 
uh, five grams of carbohydrates plus one gram of fiber, so it's gonna be four net carbs. Now, one thing about your nutrition on this, it is gonna be completely dependent on the ingredients you use. We use pasture-raised eggs, that's a little bit lower in calories. Um, you're also gonna be higher in the omega-3s with pasture-raised eggs. Uh, your broccoli, depending on what vegetable you use, that's gonna raise or lower the carbohydrates as well as the fiber. But the real key to this is the sausage or whatever you meat you use. What you wanna do is look for the lowest carbohydrate sausage that you can find. Some of them will have three, four, five grams you know, per serving, and there's other ones that have zero or one gram. Whenever it says zero, I'm always going to assume there's at least one gram of carbohydrates per serving in that sausage because there's normally some maltodextrin or some kind of filler to help it make a sausage. So that is our video for today. Hopefully you guys have learned something. Hopefully you like what you saw. Uh, if you make this recipe, do us a favor, let us know down in the comments section below. We will leave a link to the recipe down below as well as on our website, which is twocrazyketos.com. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the little bell icon so that you are notified every time we upload a video. We upload videos every single Friday as well as several times during the week. And until next time, bye.